We're all set and ready to go. Left-hander with a real gift. Not the finished article. Interesting listening to Jimmy White saying, boy, can he pot. Well, there are signs that he is an extreme talent, but this is the biggest test of his career and his young life so far. at the crucible we had all kinds of night drama but middle of the next morning drama didn't we the likes of Thorburn and Griffiths well yeah that match finished at 3.51 in the morning that was the, actually the match that's best remembered for the 147 that, that Cliff made so uh, these things happen One. and it's the youngster who gets the first point of the match on the board. A little bit unlucky to finish. It's a fabulous shot, actually, to hit the side cushion and bottom cushion. He's unlucky, as you say, on the black, but he's got a shot at the pink. Well, already, if you've not seen him play before, and there is a chance, perhaps, even if you are still enthusiastic, that you haven't. But it. a clean potter of ball. A lot of the young Chinese playing, kind of slightly more mechanical. Not all of them, but this is one with true natural skill. 14. Thank you. Well, that wasn't easy either, and the angle he has suggests he can go into the bunch with quite uh, a lot of ease here if he did it could be he could be on the brink of winning the opening frame big shot this wow i love the way he played the shot he really plowed into the bunch what a confident what a opening Xiao looking like a veteran in this frame so far real sense of purpose around the table he looks cucumber cool just a little bit loose that shot. I think Ronnie, deep down, wants, of course we know he wants to win, he wants to win all the matches, but deep down he will admire. It was interesting listening to Trump the other day after his first round win talk about playing O'Sullivan. And of course he's seen a lot of him recently as they've been playing a series of exhibitions and he says how much he's been able to learn just by watching O'Sullivan at close quarters. And 52. It's almost as though he was wanting to impress O'Sullivan with the quality of his play. That's the impact that this guy has had on the game. 53. But there's always room for a new superstar, Neil. And... Yes, and that's worked out well. Oh, what a moment it would be for Zhao to make a century in the very first frame of his very first professional meeting with Ronnie O'Sullivan. It's a distinct possibility now. Well, especially with that shot, that was uh, a good 92. one. 92. Right in behind the red. Ronnie can console himself that he hasn't done an awful lot wrong. He missed a red to the middle pocket. Zhao's opener was a pretty good one. He's not looked back since. One good shot with the rest and the century should be his for the taking. He didn't hold back, did he? What a break this has been. Wonderful. Well, they've waited some time to see Ronnie O'Sullivan step out into the arena, but it's his opponent that's dazzling them in the early running. Anytime anyone asks you about snooker, there's all this. Lots of young Chinese players coming through. Yep. That's been the case for a while, but this could be the real start of an influx of players of this ability. There are, I would think, four players of a similar age who are just about to head into the higher ranks. And we're seeing what kind of precocious talent this one's got. Xiao Jintong. Magnificent from the teenager. Stunning stuff. A clearance of 130.
against Ronnie O'Sullivan in the very first frame. Wow. Went full-blooded for the pot. Always oh, been lucky. One. That's a pretty outrageous fluke, actually. So O'Sullivan with a fluke. Eight. He's got to use the good luck to his fortune, to his advantage, because he could really do with this frame. Fourteen. There have been periods 15. during O'Sullivan's career that perfectionism of his has served to be some kind of torture for him mentally. His inability to accept at times that he can't play as he would like every time he steps 20. out on the table. I think he's a lot more forgiving of himself these days when things don't go entirely to plan. 21. That was a kick. It's very rare that O'Sullivan gets the cue ball cleaned even when he does get a kick. 27. I think the jury's out still as to whether cleaning the cue ball has any effect. 28. That's not gone to plan either. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 28. 42 point lead nonetheless. Well, that was a double kiss that took the cue ball up the table there. And has left something for O'Sullivan with the rest. Thank you. Well, wow, what about that for a shot? If you get a chance, we'll try and get you a look at it again. Seven. No. Oh. I mean, it wasn't a dead set plot. It was nearly there. It had to slightly make it. Ron O'Sullivan, seven. Hard to fathom. So a chance for Xiao to get back into this frame. 49 points adrift, but still Point. plenty there. I tell you what I, what I would say here. I wish uh, Xiao would use a different type of chalk because the table's a mess on that left side, on that right side there. Again, we might be able to get a, a look at it, but there's so many Nine. chalk marks, it's unbelievable. We'll get more kicks. Just to the right of the black spot there, all these screw shots he plays, there's a huge chalk mark on the table. And uh, if we're going to get kicks, that mightn't help. Look at all those. We've only played a couple of frames, 16. not even that. And it's making a mess of the conditions out there. Well, what a frame this would be 17. to win for Zhao. First was sheathed by a quite brilliant clearance of 130. And Sullivan's had a couple of chances to put this away. He's had some good fortune as well. Yellow and green, the obvious problems in terms of 24. possible clearance. Well, the chalk marks are not distracting Zhao. That was a good shot, not with received with any applause, but. Of course, the clearance is uh, nothing's impossible, but it's nigh on where yellow and green are to get from one to the other. I don't see it happening unless something gets shifted before then. Top two. And that was a good kiss, actually. It gives him a chance to get from brown to a final red. Top to six. Oh, time to lay a good snooker. Red on, or close to a, a colour would help matters here. The snooker's its certainty. Well, Sullivan's initial 49-point lead reduced to just 13 with 35 left. Red next to the yellow would have been interesting for the possibilities of a free ball. What it could conceivably go around the back of this. Oh, it was there. 
He's on. Foul and miss. And as he left a free ball. Charles in Tong, four. That's an important question. I don't think so, but the red is available. Well, I stick to my guns and say that uh, to clear up with the yellow and green where they are is one in about a thousand, I would think. Just a little bit one. casual on the pink. Yeah, I think so. Thinking about the shot which is coming next. But there isn't one, as well as he is concerned now that he's missed the pink. Well, he doesn't look as sharp tonight as he did in his previous match last night. No getting away from that. He has been pressurised. So this frame still very much in the balance. Eight points between them. It's good contact really play a, a snooker but I tell you he played a pretty good shot out of one so often the double kiss leads to trouble and Sullivan can pop this yellow uh, the problem is though Philip is how does he get on the green and uh, if he misses the blue this is a very True. fine effort Needs a few to stop though. The angle was perfect. Just run a ball's width too far, which makes this shot, if he plays it at all, difficult. He knows it could cost him the frame if he goes for this and leaves it over the pocket. It's a risk that he may or may not feel the need to take. Well, let me just. Fortune. Sullivan thought twice about that one. He knew it was risky. But now... No. It's surely a frame winner and a match leveller. Well, just a little bit of work to do here. If you're playing this down the bottom, these can be missed. He knows this has got to be given his full attention. And I think he'll breathe a sigh of relief. It's not an O'Sullivan sort of frame. Rather scrappy towards the end. It doesn't suit him, but we've got a game on our hands here. Yes, no fireworks as yet from the rocket, but he'll be delighted to have leveled. Well, he tried to hit the first jaw and take the cue ball back up the table. Thank you. It's a bit of work still to be done. Couldn't avoid the red above the one he was playing. This is frame ball. A normal service. A 2 1 lead. He's just keeping Zhao off What's the table, up? which I think is quite important, actually. Not giving him a look in, reminding him what he's up against here. Seventy-two. Well, that was, uh, again, how did he force that sort of an angle? Extraordinary shot, actually. I know it was an exhibition shot, end of frame. Dead parts of a frame. If you're a snooker enthusiast, I don't think you'll be turning this off because this match is uh, it's got potential to be one of the, the great matches of the season, Philip. Terrific stuff from both players. And Ronnie O'Sullivan has come to the party now as well, having lost the first frame to that wondrous 130 from the man in your picture. He's that is what he does at close range. Well, that's a difficult shot to go for. You kind of sense all the way that you're watching somebody with a few rough edges. One. Almost presenting O'Sullivan with a chance he hadn't really worked to get. Against O'Sullivan, you got to get them, otherwise you can be punished. Didn't want the cannon on the yellow, however. Well, you, you have to play it with a bit of left hand side, just bend it around the brown ball. And that's never going to be an easy shot to Turn play. Sullivan, six. Well, Jao can cut the red to the middle. Cue ball could finish anywhere.
one. Oh, my goodness me, that is an outrageous piece of good fortune. He, he could have finished anywhere, but... Oh, yeah, this is a really fiddly little shot to play the cup. But he's got it. And with the yellow up the table, it gave him a bit of a going sure. round. Now, Sullivan is as quick as anybody in, in amongst the balls, but Zhao is matching him in every department of the scoring side of it. Well, he made sure of it, actually. That's quite sensible. Cue ball coming towards the red, naturally from the angle on this black. Well, from the minute that Zhao admittedly got lucky with position on the black none of this has been in doubt really he has looked utterly assured about his prospects of making a frame winning break a second century break of the match this really is the kind of thing that you tend to remember long after it's over 107 all that tough wonderful Brilliant stuff from the 19 year old from China. Go into the bunch to win the frame in one visit. Top tier one. Top to eight. Top to nine. <laughs> Yeah, there's your answer. This is absolutely perfect. And these small little things, the decisions he makes, are the reason he's such a wonderful player. Oh, fabulous. Could play into the middle. But this certainly is red is the one. Okay. Clean as a whistle. Yeah, but... Mm. Just the extra he had to put into that. It was, uh, for once, a cue ball that wasn't perfectly in place. <laughs> had to hit that a little bit hard from on the side rail. One. Now, this is an even bigger test for me. Because you're out. A shot like Nine. that, missed to the near jaw. Certainly, and those reds actually go to the right corner as well. Not as tangled up as they look from that view. Twenty nine. Only can do very little about this now. There's a feeling of helplessness sometimes. And your opponent is clearing up. You didn't have much room to play with there. It's a wonderful shot, actually. Perfect again. Seven. If he goes any further, he's not on the red. <coughs> Top to eight. Biggest shot of the match for me, this next one. If he lands it behind the red, he can go 3 2 up. And if he does it, it would be every bit as impressive as the two centuries he's made. What a marvellous shot. Perfect. Perfect. Forty-six. Now another pressure shot here. Stunned the black in around for the yellow. Fifty-five. Always the danger you for a young player like Zhao. He could freeze on the big occasion. Who well, needed? Sixty-two. No sign of it, though, Philip. No. On the other hand, on the contrary, he's relishing the opportunity. What a break this has been. He's never looked in trouble. Well, I'll ask the question, what's he got? Well, We've seen the answer. He's got plenty. 
and he made that didn't phase the youngster. And now he leads the rocket 3 2. I think he's playing the cross double here. Ooh. Safety error. He really can't afford those. So a chance for Zhao to get back in. One. A very famous victory. This win, if he can pull it off, it would be the biggest of his life so far. Something special in the months and seasons ahead. Fourteen. Fifteen. Down to the bottom of the cube, he's playing on the loose red by the pink. Twenty-two. So next shot important up for the blue top side, then into the remaining reds in the bunch. Big shot. The way the reds are shaped, he doesn't hit them flush on. The cube will just could slide off them a little. And that's exactly what happened. Twenty-eight. Jiao Zingtong, 28. Well, for our Sullivan fans, the good news is he didn't win the frame in one visit, like he has been doing. 28. Safety battle, all important from here on in, in this frame, with the reds now nicely spread. Well, as you saw from those stats there, Jiao isn't as... He's good at keeping Ronnie out. It's perhaps the other way around at long range. One. Now the yellow pots. These days he's back to his long potting game. This is where the left-handedness comes in handy. He's been outscored this evening, O'Sullivan. He probably got pretty favourable odds on that at the outset. But he is such a competitor. Four. I know he's only 3-2 down, but anyone who's watched the match will know what I mean. Two centuries Nine. and an 80 from Zhao. O'Sullivan with 85 and 50. Half century break in a losing cause in the previous frame. Seventy. Chance to just flick the red away that's to the right of the black. Oh, there you go. Eleven and a half minutes of frame. That's outstanding. Both such instinctive players. The shot on the black was outstanding as well. 25. Still work to do. He's sure that it will land him on one. But what other choices does he have? He's probably just got to play it and hope. Yeah, he had no real idea there. 51. So things have gone awry for O'Sullivan. Well, at least it looked as though they had. My goodness me. Great recovery, but again, still pressure on the next shot. Through bulk, down for the next red. Probably the one that is closest to. Well, he'll be happy Sorry, to see that wriggle in the jaws. That was, he sensed that three or four shots in a row, pressure had been mounting on O'Sullivan. Hasn't got to do it in one visit all the time. Got to use his experience from here. Fly down to the business end of the table again in the event. One stuck in the jaws. Jow left it up and now O'Sullivan back at the table. Does he really want to play on the red? There's a question if he's not got the angle to get on it. Oh, extraordinary effort there. On all that side, I still don't know if he wants to play on the red. I think many players will be looking very seriously at the playing a safety shot. 
Well, there's nothing safe if he misses it. Yeah, I think he might have played the wrong shot there, getting on this red. If it goes in, all the better. Ronnie should have waited one. Ronnie O'Sullivan. He should have either not gone for the pink or played on the pink, knocked it in with a view to playing a 100% safety shot. Twenty nine the difference. <clears throat> well, he's got the snooker anyway. needs to calm himself down a little bit. A guy who is relatively very wet behind the ears. Here's an occasion where Ronnie choice between the double or chance to play really telling safety shot. And this time it goes in. I think they're in for an absolute nail biter here. That was frame ball barring snookers. It looks as though we are going the distance, and it's fitting. It's been a terrific battle. O'Sullivan hasn't been at his best, but that's a lot to do with the quality of Zhao's game. He's been frozen out for periods. Zhao has been doing the lion's share of the scoring. Wealth of experience to find a way. I'd expect Ronnie to just uh, get his composure back. I think he lost it for a while there. A lot of the game is played Thank between you. the ears sometimes. Matching such potting is difficult to do. Either way, don't switch over because this is brilliant. Top well, three. way to end the third day of the brand new English Open. This is a terrific tussle. He gather his thoughts. He's been put through the ringer at times this evening against young Xiao Jintong. That's not a great break off though from the young Chinese in this deciding frame. It's been an absolutely compelling match. An hour and 15 minutes of pure snooker entertainment. A good deal of it provided by the 19-year-old Butneal. That mistake could be costly. Well, it's the old drifting red. That can happen off that break-off shot. Not quite why it ends up down there. You probably hit the bottom red too thick. A relatively modest on the break building stakes. 85 in the third frame is best. And Zhao with the eye-catching scoring. Two century breaks, including that quite brilliant 130 clearance. 12. Well, that is not a good shot for Mo Sullivan. He overhit there. And now the cue ball goes into the bunch. Last thing he wanted here. What a recovery shot that is, by the way. does not want to be put in the shade in any way, shape or form. It's just not something he's used to. Well, even that shot. Not everyone at that point in the decider would have gone into the bunch. 26. State with a break off. Those are the margins when you're playing one of the all-time greats. 54. Again, the cannon played, despite two other reds up the table, which other players perhaps would have played safe with, knocking those in. Really, the table is at his mercy now. He's created this all on his own. OK, you got the opening red to go at, but he's made the rest happen. 42. Looking to save his best till last. 43. And it's been a long day. Had some long matches. 49. Had quite a few surprise results as well. Mark Selby, the biggest casualty on this. Sean Murphy bowing out to Liang. Stephen Maguire, despite an excellent performance, <coughs> losing to Ryan Day. Is he going to go into the bunch for what will be the third 55. time in the break? Choices to make. 
If you could play on the right hand red and get onto the black from it, points wise, you'd have enough. So that's a very calculated decision for my Sullivan. I completely understand it. Playing to the scoreboard. But he's missed the red and he missed it by Sullivan, 62. quite a margin. So having played the percentages there, O'Sullivan, he wasn't able to seal the deal. And that's very unusual. He can't believe it. Well, he's never looked more under pressure than now, sitting there, knowing that he was on the brink of winning a great match. And mercifully, mercifully for O'Sullivan, the plant wasn't there. And a red and a high-value colour would be enough to leave Zhao requiring a snooker in this decider. Pretty close. Where's his colour coming from here? If this is not straight, perhaps he can stand up for a, a bulk colour. White. Well, he's just managed to get enough on there to get on the blue. That was well played. Uh, I don't know if he played the cannon. I'm surprised if he did. He's still on that one. Seven. Surely he's not going to play the, not the red out at this stage. I think he's got to try and get some points back. And that's very well played indeed. That's a, just such a good shot. He just seems so You're sure of, him, of himself when he's in the balls. There's no flicker of hesitation about what he's trying to do. He doesn't want to push the red or the pink safe here that he's going to go into. He wants to make sure they stay in the middle of the table. That's not helping him if that happens at all. Oh, no, he took his eye off the pot. I don't think that was pressure. It was just a slight lapse in concentration. We've seen pressure few of those this evening when he's been in amongst them. But that is surely going to spell curtains for Zhao. Uh, the quickest I've seen O'Sullivan move tonight is out of his chair there to get this chance that he didn't expect. 45 the lead, just 43 on. And a shame, really, if that is to be the shot that cost Xiao the match. It was very uncharacteristic of the performance he's put in. I think Ronnie will be full of respect and give good compliments to Xiao if he wins this match, which it looks like he now will. Thank you. I don't think Brilliant there's any doubt about six. that. 50 the difference. 43 on. Two snookers required as things stand. Well, does he really want to play the thin cut? It wins the match, but he might not want to. Oh, he does want to play it, and that now is the match. Um, I have to say, Philip, it's one I've really enjoyed. Fabulous entertainment. What a way to finish the third day of the inaugural English Open. And it's a match. This audience won't forget in a hurry. They won't forget Jean Tom in a hurry. What a talent we've seen this evening. The Ronnie O'Sullivan. Perhaps the greatest talent of them all. And he's found a way to win. Outplayed the large chunks of that match. He's come through nonetheless.